Hello, my South African friends. I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Führerreich, playing as, of course, the Zuid Afrikanische Republik. So, last time, we were helping out the Soviets, or we weren't helping out the Soviets, we're helping them die, but we're helping out the rest of the Stahl Pact, and trying to beat up the Soviet Union, which we were doing pretty darn well, not gonna uh, lie, and what the heck is going on here? So, but at the end, the very tail end of yesterday's episode, the UK declared war on Germany. So right now, I'm rushing soldiers, or not really rushing, I'm rushing my navy to get out of the Baltic Sea to come back down to Africa here so we can protect our naval ways, maybe destroy a few ships, because we do have, in 1943 by now, the best things for subs and the best possible upgrades as we're doing more homing torpedoes and with electric torpedoes as well, so that is the plan. We should be able to capitulate the Soviet Union fairly soon, fairly soon, so that'd be good to do. Oh, wait, it's 1943, I've done yet... I don't have enough up, but we need more manpower. Oh, buddy boy, that's not good. I don't like seeing that. Uh, cut down on that, then. That 3,000 is going to be spent very quickly. Obviously, it really shouldn't be up to us to hold the front line here, but it is what it is. If you guys could just win there, that'd be great. You should be able to win. I mean, yeah, their soldiers aren't too bad. They're really not too bad, so. Come on, crack them. Beat them up. The second IRB... Oh, for centuries, the Irish nation has become has been under British control, and for centuries the Irish people have fought against the British rule. While the most recent rebellion during the Great War failed, it seems the spirit of the Irish people has not yet crushed easily. After the failure of the British government to deal with the remnants of the Irish Republican Brotherhood, ooh, is it like, do they have power armor? They have seized the opportunity that Britain's new war presents. Ireland and other armed rebellion against the British. <clears throat> Having apparently learned from previous experiences, this new rising is well organized and well managed. And its only, its only downfall appears to be a chronic shortage of equipment. If this new uprising is to succeed, Ireland will no doubt require foreign support. Irish, free, disgusting, what the hell? You don't have Leinster? I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm not Irish at all. But, uh, wow. Yeah, it's good for me not to be at war with the British just yet. I need to get my guys down there first. Yeah, that's not good. Cork is the capital. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'd rather not have my guys die yet. Oh, we have to fight Iran as well. Oh, and all this too. But I am putting soldiers on the front lines here. If we go now, we can do pretty well, but I just want, really want my subs down there first. Uh, where are our sub subby boys? They're trying to, I'm trying to get them to cape right now. They do have quite a few destroyers, which is not ideal. <clears throat> but the goal is, smash the Soviets. I think the Germans should be able to smash them. If we can get Gorky and a few more key positions, especially Nar Narod Nigra, Narod Nigrad. Yeah, that's how you probably pronounce it better. Uh, yeah, we could do that. Mm, I really don't want to get involved right now, but I think it's it's good that we do it. Because my soldiers are pretty much ready to take their African colonies away. Good. <clears throat> and, yeah, there's that. A little bit of manpower. Our guys should be moving. I told them all to go ahead. There are a few... Eh, there's a division right there. Oh, oh it's a motorized. That's not good. But we're going to go ahead and take all these territories that rightfully belong to us. Ah, Italy! The Kingdom of Italy wants to help us out. I think that is great. We should have these guys done soon enough, and basically now we're fighting all the Entente. Not the Entente, the Imperial Protection Alliance, which is massive. <sighs> Gardner, do you want to join the war with us against them? Gardner, private sector American Phoenix, perfect American looking outwards, a new democratic bastion. What happened with Mexico? Oh, the Social Conservative, now the Republic of the United States. Cool, very cool. Ah, uh, it's gonna be a mess. This is gonna be a giant mess. British, oh, yeah, that's not good. Oh, there's some carriers down there. That Japanese carriers are over there. Okay, well, whatever. Come on, please. You're, oh, we already had that city. I forgot we had it already. <sighs> what we really need is to finish off this war against the Soviet Union. That's incredibly important. All right, you guys are pretty close down here. There you go. We're going to try something like that first. We can find a lot of things around here, probably. And we're going to be searching for these convoys. Oh, yeah. This is where we're going to make some big money. And by big money, I mean big land grabs. Big land grabs. Here we go. Grab that. Oh, look at that. The first one's dead. The first one's down. The convoys are going to go bye, bye, bye. Oh, I love it. But we definitely need Lagos for this. Siam. That makes sense. 
Uh, oh, that's nice. More torpedo attack. Yes, yes, yes. I almost never go for that that direction. Just because, uh... I don't know. Never, never really appealed to me when I make other ships. I'd rather have a quantity of big, powerful ships than anything else. And we're fighting the Jewish Protectorate of Palestine. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, yep. Uh, they took the bait. Good. Come on. Germany should be able to push. I mean, they, the Soviets are in a two-front war, so... Oh, I'm, I am interested in this a lot right now. Oh, yes. Get rid of those convoys. They don't need them. They don't need them. What are you talking about? And we're about to link up here, which is great in northern Rhodesia. Actually, let us do our old claims. Long ago, Britain made us made us a false promise. The granting of its colonies in southern Africa. While we're no longer a part of the empire, that doesn't mean we can't keep our eyes on those promised lands. Good. Now, we're not sinking a lot here. But you know what? I'd rather sink some than none. Which is great. Good. Five subby boys versus a few convoys. I love it. Uh, really, you need to come here so we can encircle the, these two divisions. Good. Three, two, one. Get over there, please. And then we're going to start attacking here. And Italy's here to help fight. Good. Yeah, you're not going to rescue these guys. There's no way. I'm going to let you rescue these guys, these folks. Alright, support the attack. That'd be great. Gorky. We're still winning over there. We're going to lose a few provinces here and there, but that's okay. It's only not many convoys, but that's okay. Alright, they've lost 85,000. That's not enough. We need more. More losses. Oh, oh, hold on. They have found us, but we still sunk the convoy. That's good. Keep an eye on this. The Sea Wolf. Guy Halifax, level 1 and everything, which isn't good. He's level 3 overall, though. I hope he's becoming a sea wolf, which he is. Great. Advanced fire bases, great. We get more recovery and organization for all of our infantry. And we get shock and awe. Come on, hurry up, build that thing. I could use it just a. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, I really need that steel, though. There's really no other way I can get more steel. <sighs> that's really bad. That's really, really bad. You know what? Maybe I'll just go back and do one. And do one from these guys, maybe? No, no. I, I need, I need steel, and I'm gonna need more fuel. So let's build ourselves up a little bit more. Good, plop, plop. These aren't even our tiles, but we're gonna use them anyways. And I'm gonna need some military factories right there. Good, we've linked up. That is awesome. That is tremendous. Now this front's gonna be a pain in the butt. There's probably not gonna be any movement on this front, but that's okay. Uh, go ahead and take this. We need that tile. This is disgusting. Ooh, there's some enemy convoys. Our positioning. Positioning. Tons of subs. Excavation Ford, nice. Let's grab some more construction. Uh oh. Did I lose any boys? I might have lost some boys. Oh, nope. Good. We sunk the convoys. We keep sinking them. Oh, oh, they're the main fleet there. Uh oh. Time to do more damage, or research more things for our fleet. Uh, how many ships are repairing? None! That's good! That's really good. Tactical bombers. We're making some fighters, or, or hopefully we'll be making more fighters. I'm gonna need some naval bombers, too. I'm gonna need a lot of things, man. Good, you're done here? Great. I'm gonna do this. Six, there you go. I'm gonna make this pretty much the main front line here, eventually. Here, what are you going to do? Oh my god, the supplies. Is this really supply issues or what? Why are you exercising? I did not click, I did not click K. I did not click K, man. Oh my goodness. Oh, we get warp up again. The fate of Africa, ooh! Establish an East African state? Ooh. An Egyptian state. Oh, I think that's great. I think that's phenomenal. Let's get some of that. We're going to need to build, build, build. Uh, not bad, not bad. Good, that division will die. Oh my goodness, just don't lose too much. They have the pride of the fleet there. They're full strength. No, we lost a subby. No. Hmm. These guys are still pretty strong. 
There's not really a whole lot I can do about that, though. Mm-hmm. Let me go with low. Go with low. Nice. More convoys. That's good. Alright. Go ahead and just take these last little tiles so we can move our guys around a little bit better. Uh, oh, they're actually beating us up. That's not good. Let's see. You. You know what? You're all coming down here to help be a massive front line against the enemy. Except for the few people that are going to be moving around a little bit. Hmm... Oh, they have got tanks. That's not good. Which means we're going to get some anti-tank next. Guess can hold. Hold, hold, hold. We have no organization, which hurts us, of course, naturally, but... God dang, we lost two more subbies? Is anyone else doing anything around here? No? Yes? Maybe so? I need... Uh, Great Britain isn't known for its great navies. Well, Great Britain is known. I mean, Germany's not known. Germany's not known for its navies, but, uh... You know, with things going on here, it's not looking too bad. That's good. Aust oh, Australia. This Soviet Union crap needs to finish off. You know what? Here, we're gonna do this. Y'all have to get this done. Germany, you have to keep pushing. Because I can probably hold them off here for a while. Uh, no. You know what? They have... God, we're trying to fight a major power without major equipment. Which is the problem. So, actually, infantry equipment... Oh, that's... Oh, man, we're not doing well. We are really not doing well here. Oh, man, subbies... They need to be able to hit enemies just a little bit harder. Convoys... I mean, even with our... The best naval doctrine for subs. Still ain't enough, man. Still ain't enough. Right now, I'm only on defense. Hmm. We need some of this, too. Engage only at low risk. Just go and leave. Go and leave. Do what you can, when you can. Our old claims, nice. Uh, sure. We'll maybe get some stuff from them. Occupy them. Demand Mozambique. Mozambique is under poor administration. Portugal fails to make use of its resources. Resources that we could use that we could put to very good use. Let us demand their colony. Oh man, fighting on two continents is never ideal. Never ideal. But I need Germany to finish this up. Like this is taking this is taking too long. Germany, what are you doing? Good. An encirclement. Leave it up to a bunch of South Africans to do an encirclement. I don't, yeah. Oh my god, we need so many guns. Go ahead and stop making... Eh, we have enough Coast Guards for now. And that. These guys are looking pretty good, though. Hmm. Do I have anti-tank on here? No, I don't. Not at all. Good. Get rid of those guys. Uh, nice. Did we lose anybody? No. Good. It would definitely help, though, if the Italians went to war with the British. That would help so much. Hmm, that's not enough. Good. Oh, you guys just join up there. And you. I don't know why the Germans abandoned their own line down here. It doesn't make any sense. Can't turn anything up there. Chromium, nationalized, emergency stuff, war support, factory output. All I can say is I hope the Irish win, even though they're probably not doing... Eh, they're doing okay-ish. They lost the capital, of course, but, you know, it is what it is. What are the Japanese doing? They're up there. They're losing a little bit to the Brits over there. Um, I'd like to see how many, how many soldiers the UK has. Oh, they don't have that many left. That's good for that. A couple divisions here and there. 
good. Yeah. No. Yeah, they've got some extremely well-equipped divisions. Uh, can America get involved, please? I would love it if America gets involved. Out of guns and we're not we don't really have that many options. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. I could probably force myself up that way, but just trying to rely on the AI is such a bad idea. You know what? We can move our soldiers here. We need something much more effective, we'll say. Hmm. Down here is doing okay-ish. That's okay. Wait, why? Surgeon divisions. What the heck? Why are they over there? What? Who owns this? Is that Persia? Wow, that sucks. Mm, I'm gonna move you guys right here, and we're gonna try to cut off. What the heck, game? Come on. To do that. Because by the end of this episode, I want the Soviet Union to be gone. Because I need German help to take these guys out. Uh, excuse me. How is this attacking over river? How? No. No. I'd rather have these guys die than you guys take these tiles. Thank you. And if you want to attack that badly, I'll attack you right in the butt. Even though these guys, they're really not that great. Oh, that, we're fighting armor. Maybe not the smartest idea, but hey, if we can push them out. That'd be great. Who's... You're definitely now earning your keep. Anyone else around here? No? No? Okay, okay. What are we missing? We have enough manpower now. Infantry equipment, of course. That's always an issue. Nice. Alright, cool. Not too bad, not too bad. Get those military factories, get our guys down south. Yeah. Yeah. Italy, please go to war. Oh, they're killing the Irish up there. They sent volunteers to everyone, though. That's pretty good. <clears throat> this is not looking good. Alright, let's double check. So, we've lost 169,000, mostly to the UK. Now, they've lost a fifth of a million. They killed most of us. I can understand why they want to kill us. <sighs> okay, this is my problem with Hoi 4. I don't care. If they don't have supplies, I want you to move. I do not care if you do not have supplies on here. Or supplies really bad. Move. This happens regardless of whether it's vanilla or regular or Ultra Blues. There goes our free state, but move. If I tell them to move, they better move. I don't care if there's no supply. Except for fire mains, it'd be good. Uh, they're still trying to kill me. Demand Mozambique. Very nice. Occupy the HCT. London still claims protection over the natives living in the High Commissioner territories, but we cannot allow them to have a foothold in our country. Guys, please take that towel. You can encircle three enemy divisions. Portugal surrenders Mozambique. The Portuguese government has agreed to surrender the southern half of the colony of Mozambique. Clearly they knew they could not stand up to our might. Absolutely. Please do not attack. For the love of God, do not attack. Good to do that. Oh. Oh boy, that leaves them a lot of territory that they could take too. Which is an ideal, but you know, whatever. Oh my god, what's going on here? They have a lot of organization, which is good. Hmm. Where are they? Come on. Move, move, move. Uh, the UK, why are you so str like, They're incredibly strong. Of course, they've been spending time just building up more divisions. Which makes sense. Their infantry is very good, though. Very, very good infantry. Let's hold for now. You don't need to attack. You don't have the strength to attack. Defense is the best thing that we can do right now. Make sure we all have engineers for more entrenchment. That is good. I would love it if you guys, could, my guys could actually move, maybe? That'd be great. Good. Destroy them. Destroy them. Don't lose anybody. 
Their organization is getting lower and lower and lower. Good, good, good. Germany, why have you stopped attacking? Don't attack them down here. Finish off the Soviets. Finish them off. That is the most important thing. That is by far the most important thing to do. We have Leningrad. I don't know why the Soviets just didn't give up. What the hell happened here? Yeah, the British are too strong. They're inc inc extremely... Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Why are Hungarian divisions there when Italy sent me divisions? Italy's playing both sides. Well, I guess it's smart of them. Germany, don't send me divisions. I don't want your divisions. I need you to finish off the Soviets. Oh, my goodness. The big dumbos. Yeah, they're not taking this. Wow, we need a lot of guns. Oh, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate. This first industry, just in time. Let's get cap and growth. Let's get some more cap and growth. Oh, we lost a sub. But you know what? We're already 20 minutes in this video. I'm going to go ahead and play this a little bit off screen and force Germany to do some good tactical maneuvers. So I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright guys, sorry about that. Yeah, I know, um, I just didn't want to waste your time with you watching me struggle with the Soviet Union. So, right now, it's November 6th, 1943. And, as you can tell, the Soviet Union is no longer there. And also, I didn't want to waste your time with a peace deal. So, basically, this was what happened. We were up here, kind of down here. Small little encirclements. And I also had to manually make sure that the Germans kind of knew what they were doing. Which was really a pain in the butt. But we have Reichskommissar at Ruslan here. And I know you guys don't like it when I do fade and fade outs. You'd rather watch everything, but we're already like seven episodes deep. And I want to keep things moving along a little bit more and more. Also, I had Italy go to war with the UK. Now, I use Collins Command to tap, tag over at Italy, but they did all of their focuses. They've done literally all their focuses, and even they had Mediterranean guarantee from London, and they had offered to purchase Malta, and they basically went over, they went to war over Malta. So that's why Italy is now fighting the British. Uh, casualties. I have lost 138,000 casualties to the UK. The Between the German and Soviet War, the Germans lost a little over 3 million. I lost like 100,000. While the Soviets lost like 9 million. 3 million from the Germans, 9 million to the Soviets. That's not too bad. Also, I gave the Russian Republic the rest of the other half of Russian lands, of course, from Paso Urals. So, even though eh, some of them, of course, it's popular socialist... Wait, hold on. Popular Socialist Party? You're social liberals. Um, there's probably a better party than that party. But anyways, this is where we, we're literally picking up right where we left off. Um, where we finished the war. That's how far, that's how deep my guys have got. All the way down here. It took a long time to capitulate these guys. Also, Germany's been navally invaded. Wilhelmshaven is fallen to the Brits, which is not good. But we'll see what happens. But actually... Our Navy's been doing pretty well with the Italians being called into the war against the British, which I think was a little more balanced because the Italians have a much better Navy than me or Germany. Our naval guy, Guy Halifax, he's level 2 now. And I, he's Seawolf. I gave him Lancer as well as Loading Drill Master so we can just chuck torpedoes out like crazy. He's level 4. Huh. Last time we saw each other was when he was level 3. More torpedo screen penetration. So we're actually doing really well down here. To get rid of this guy down here. And, of course, we took Mozambique. But, my goodness. Just... Oh. Um... Uh, first of all, where do your divisions go? Because they still have all their divisions. They have... Uh, last time we we were together, they had 158 max. Of course, they had, like, 58 to, like, 158. But, uh... Guys? I mean, I have been sinking more guys down here. But it was mostly more Australian, Persian divisions. Uh, the UK is still doing really well in Asia, of course. Uh, what else is going on around here? Italy's been doing really well. I'm going to assume that Italians have quite a bit of this. So, And stockpile. I'll show you my stockpile. We're still in a pretty bad deficit of everything. Just terrible deficit. Terrible, terrible, terrible. You know, I, I literally have no idea where these guys went. Because they were actually beating us up. Because the British have a pretty good army. Their divisions are good. Our divisions are just garbage. But I am trying to convert more of our guys to... Uh, not you guys. Those guys are okay, but the Super South African Infantry, which are pretty darn good, I need more of that. Actually, let's make sure that you guys, first of all, 
basically you become all of that. Well, maybe eventually. You can convert first. But I literally have no idea where the rest of Britain's divisions have gone. So, uh, actually, you know what? Let me show you their fleet still. Because I have lost a few subs. Uh, 129. They still have... And it's... Did they lose a carrier? Did you lose... Hold on. How big... Oh, nice. How big is the Italian Navy? That's not bad. They might have been able to sink a carrier. Ooh. Nice. Very nice. Ah, uh, but we got another stuff. Ooh. Nice. Good, 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 good. Yeah, just... At this point in the campaign... I would like to maybe speed things up a little bit. Just to make sure... That's why I went... To had Italy go to war with the British Empire. Just speed things up and see what happens. I'd rather not make this into like a 15 episode campaign. Maybe 10 episode campaign in total. So, uh, excavation. Yeah, I need more excavation. Oh my god, I need more excavation. Also, I did do this. I'm on closed markets. So that's good. You guys should be expanding into here, which... I don't know where their divisions went. Like, this makes no sense to me. But I guess it makes sense when Italy takes over Egypt. Not bad, not bad. We are not making any more subs just because I'm out of steel. Streamline line, very good. We need some more fuel eventually. Naval doctrine stuff. I mean, this won't matter, but you might as well do it. Oh, and there we go. We, we lost another sub. They still have the ships around here. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, subs? I don't know. Subs? People say, some, some people say that they're very, very strong. I mean, even with the best naval... Well, I say the best naval doctrine... But trade interdiction, which is really for subs, even then, we're not doing great with them. I mean, sure, we don't have sub four. Oh, actually, we do have sub fours. I'm not using sub fours. We haven't researched. But uh, even with level four, even if we get up that high, I don't know. I never had the success that other people have with submarines. Hmm. Oh well, it is what it is. I'm not even making any divisions now since I want to upgrade my divisions. <sighs> but with the Soviet Union gone, that makes it so much easier. And I don't know what happened down here. Like before, the Germans were actually pushing pretty darn well. Because the Persian army apparently isn't very good or something. Like, they have some manpower. They have a few divisions. So, I don't know how they're not being able to hold in the mountains against the Germans. But it is what it is. Nice. Ruslan wants to give you stuff. Great. Uh, Ar Armedia? They... I really don't know what happened. I have no idea. I'm just going to assume it's the Italians that came in that just started walloping the British, which is nice, which is very nice. But uh, yeah, I have no idea. The Italians are, well, if the Italians have no one to fight, them against the British while we're fighting the British as well, seem to be a good, pretty good trick. Yeah, their fleet, it's not bad, but they were able to sink a carrier or something. I don't think the Germans were able to sink, sink a carrier. I, I'm not capable of sinking a carrier though. Because the British, the German fleet isn't very good. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's not great. Two Deutschland class ships. Yeah. But you know what? Whatever. Kick off the UK, kill off Italy, eventually destroy Portugal so I can take their colonies as well. Manuel, oh well. Oh wait, what? Oh, America was still fighting the Philippines. I was checking, what is America? America's doing nothing. They have literally all their focuses done that they can do here. And they're not doing anything. They're just sitting there. Besides killing out the Philippines. Oh, let's get some more fuel. That'd probably be good. Getting in, up naval invaded in northern France. You guys are probably up here hanging out, not doing much. Yeah, let's contain that. That'd be good. And of course, the Irish have fallen already, so. It is what it is. Alright, supply-wise, we're doing better. We're definitely doing better. Just go ahead and convert all these guys. We'll get manpower and guns. That actually is not bad, but we need a lot of artillery now. Yeah, we don't have the supplies for that. There's Abyssinia. Oh, we gonna need some... Oh, support equipment. Oh, that's not good. Do that, then. Yeah. Maybe we should make more military factories. Oh, we got more land now that we can make more factories. That'd be good. They canceled Lundley's, even though they they sent s soldiers to the British faction. Good. Very nice. Halifax, 42 guys, though. So. Superior tactician, perhaps, eventually.
Cape Verde Plain might be good to send over here as well. Because they might send supplies through here as well, which would be good to destroy. Yes. And it's not just British soldiers. I'm thinking about all those enemy soldiers. Let time go on. Let Germany reform themselves and be able to push into India. Oh, they're sitting in the tanks. I still haven't researched uh, anti-tank, though. Now that's good. That's good. British Raj. Oh, they're actually beating them back. Good. Without the Soviet Union there, causing all sorts of supply problems, this is actually not doing too badly, then. I have no idea how I'm going to invade the UK, though. No idea. Rex Commissariat Austin. Well, that's very, very nice. Oh, of course, states. Great. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Gulf of Guinea. Nice. Four more convoys. Oh, they. Oh, that's why they have soldiers there, and that's why we're. Oh, we lost the sub. Oh. Yeah, we sent some convoys. That's good. Nice. Very good. Tying up as many supply lines as possible for these guys. Ah, British Slam has gone. Also, these guys are on low, which is good. You are 85% of the way towards Superior Tactician. You can be becoming a better blue water expert as well. Good. Ah, oh, yes, we'll take some guns, probably. I don't... I'm not even paying attention to that. Uh, Germany, I would highly, highly recommend investing in Coast Guards. Because even though I'm not making any more... Uh, for the most part, we've got enough Coast Guards for this area. Nice. Alright, so here's what our plan is. I want to cut down on some of these divisions. You guys are 10 combat with. Get, cut half of you guys out. That's not ideal, but I'm going to make these guys even better. Great. Um, can we get military access through Italy? Yes. That'd be awesome. Thank you. Alright, so do we have supplies? We got, oh, wow. With that, we've got plenty of guns now. We do that. So we make more support equipment and then artillery as well. That would be pretty darn important. That's good. So that you guys can start training. British Arabia's gun. Go ahead and train in the center here of Africa. Uh, oh, yeah. Maybe you guys should just do that. Just so that these guys can be a little better. Let's see. You guys are... Maybe... I'm going to delete these guys as well. But even make take these guys and turn them into these guys. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Sink those convoys. British, British Mesopotamia has fallen. War effort. We've lost 141,000. That's a lot. Versus quarter million for them. 1.2 thousand. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Iran is falling. Oh, and they're actually... Oh, yeah, they're war with these people, too. What are they led by? Oh, Mr. Yeah. Popular Socialist Party. That is what it is. Nikolai, led by them. 4,000 manpower on volunteer only. Yeah. And no divisions, which makes sense. Convoys, convoys. Good, good, good. We need more supplies. I just need more steel. Ruslan, thank you. Good, military factories are great. I might even build another dockyard here, too. Uh, build one there. That'd be fine. Bulgaria? No, we good, man. Look at that. We're still mobilizing? We're still mobilizing. That's awesome. Oh, and also, I'm doing construction engineering after I finish these focuses, but I wanted to say this last focus is for independence at last. Finally, our ambitions have been realized. South Africa will reign supreme over the continent, and no other power in the world shall be able to stand up to our greatness. We finally have an empire of our own. Good. Hmm. Industrial renovation is good to do. Rubber, we have enough rubber for now. Yeah, we got 104 after taking all that stuff. Nice. So, instead, we're going to do... War Bonds? Yes. South Africa, you get so much political power. It's so good. Oh, look at all these convoys dying. And that is the Dominion of Canada. Oh, that's Canadian. I thought they were Australian for a sec second there. Improve oil processing, get even more oil if we can from the refineries. Nice, all that helped out so much. Let's see, level two. Do we have any other upgrades? No, not yet. Four more percent, then become a superior tactician, which he'll get more positioning. We could do lone wolf, concealment expert. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to go with concealment so they can't even see my subs even better. 
Smoke screen would be cool, but not super necessary. Alright, so you guys are good. Train, maybe. Good. Wow, look at all these guys. Just gonna do that, I guess. Why not? Alright, you guys. Yeah, some of you guys could train too. Be fine since they're not invading us. I'm letting Germany and Italy do most of the work here just because we can. I don't want to waste any of my guys' lives. Industry wise, we have enough guns. Okay, we're making some fighters, which is good. We're going to definitely need some naval bombers. Oh, definitely a lot more artillery, too. Yeah, the state of Armenia is gone. Oh, man, the German Reich is definitely pushing in. No, thank you, Ethiopia. Raj. Oh! There goes Iran. That's disgusting. But even Japan invaded here. Nice, nice. Come on, 2% more. Make it like milk. Make it like milk. Just a little bit more. Oh, we're actually building some subs. Great. Oh. And let's make sure we upgrade this for an insane amount of torpedo attack, which is still never enough. Never enough. Actually, we're doing pretty, pretty well on steel now. Nice. Excavation definitely helps us out. Uh, aluminum. It's not bad. Independence at last. Go get some sort of decision. Just go back to making more uh, construction stuff. There you go. Right, so what do we get here? Anything? Independence at last. Right. So our nation has fought through the trials and tribulations rivaled by only a few. For decades, our people have been oppressed and exploited by the British. But today, that nightmare is no more. We stand strong not only through unity, but through power. We have shown that we are more than capable of standing on the world stage, not as a dominion or of a power a thousand miles away, but as an independent nation, nay, an independent empire, capable of taking the, desire, the land it desires. We are more than just united, as the liberals and conservatives like to say. We are powerful. In, we are powerful. And in this world, strength comes from power. Great. More stability. Wow, that's a lot of... Uh, Oh. Establish an East African state? So, with the former German colony Tanganyika under our control, we now have an opportunity to set up a state of our own in Eastern Africa, incorporating several other British colonies we have captured or plan to capture around it. Such an East African state has long been a dream of several visionary politicians who would no doubt jump at the opportunity to lead it. Others say we should administrate the land directly and bring all of Africa under our rule. What shall we do with it? Collaborationist regime. Oh, we get... Uh... Let's get a regime. I want to see what happens here. Because they get cores and we can use that manpower, perhaps. Oh, is, it? is that it? <sighs> is that it? Oh my gosh. I mean, alright. Well, that's definitely interesting. We can, we'll can. we give them this territory once the war is over, of course. So, And I don't have the state transfer tool because it doesn't work at the time of this recording with Führerreich. So it is what it is. What the heck is this? Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Are they trying to invade again? No. And we're just kind of watching the British falter, which is great. It's April 7th, 1944. We have so much political power. Mm. Get. I want output. And that. That'll be good to do. What else do we need? We need more factories. I'll go ahead and put it there. Put two more there. That'd be good. That'd be really great. Manpower's looking delicious. Alright, so let's take a look at the losses before we end the episode. Alright, not bad. Yeah, the Imperial Protection Alliance with Italy helping us out, they can't do anything. They've lost not that much, which is awesome to see. What's going on up here? Yeah, we definitely need some naval bombers and fighters. Diesel powered emergency pumps, great. Battleship stuff, battleship stuff, eh. I could do snorkels. Naval doctrine, air stuff. And eh, maybe get some better fighters. Oh, anti tank, god dang it. I forgot about that. I always forget about that. But that's not too bad. That is really not too bad. But that's probably where we're going to leave it here for today. With the Soviets gone and Italians fighting the British, they're not going to last for too long. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow as we will figure out a way to try to invade the United Kingdom. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.